everyone and happy spring, happy spring equinox, happy start of the astrological new year, and happy Aries season to all of my fellow Aries. I love that where I live, spring and the astrological new year are kind of synced up because it is the perfect time for clearing out old energy, planting seeds metaphorically and physically. I already planted my seeds for the summer, setting intentions and taking action. And I really want my space and my altar to reflect that. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't touched my altar in ages, so we are going to be doing a spring altar setup. I'm going to show you how I'm setting up my altar for the spring because right now it looks terrible. I don't even have any crystals that I like on it. Like that's how little effort I've been putting into it and I feel very uninspired by it and when my altar is not inspiring I don't feel called to go and sit and meditate as much. So I've been meditating in bed. If you haven't seen my first altar video you can go and check it out right up here but you really don't need a lot of space to create an altar. It can be a really small space. It can be a bigger space. Whatever you have, whatever you can make do with. I literally just have this corner in my room that I was just using for books and I just had a thought one day to turn it into a little altar space and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite corner in my room. You really don't need a lot of things to make an altar. It can be super simple and super minimal. This one I'm going to be making it a little bit cuter for the spring because I just want to jazz mine up a little bit. made one of these for my altar because I had a masculine deity for so long and I wanted something feminine but I couldn't find anything to balance it out that I really liked so I just kept looking I didn't see anything and then I read the book I'm not gonna say the name because I'm still new year and I don't know if I can say that without causing trouble later down the line so I'm gonna put it down in the description box it is a fantastic book. Then after reading it, I thought, what better piece to kind of embody the feminine than one of these? So I looked online and I couldn't find any that I loved. So I went to the store, got some air dry clay, and then I made my own. I feel like it kind of just goes really well with the spring theme too. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I make videos every week. Until then, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Keep radiating that good ass energy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.